Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. Yes, we are not on the BMW, we are back on the little 17 Reg Polo. So in the last video, and it was the first video, we managed to strip out every single bit of damage from this car. And the only cut we had to make was on the outside skin. All of these internal parts have been undone from their original seams with a bit of seam sealer, bit of glue and a few spot welds. We want to crack straight back on with this and it's up in the air and this one's still sitting here and you've probably already watched the video on the DS by now, you would have. And we're waiting to get that off the truck at this precise moment. We're waiting for a drive shaft to arrive so we can get it off the truck, then get this BMW on the truck and off to paintwork. And Chris said, well, we can't sit around and wait all day Let's crack on. So over Christmas, I think it might have been just before cr Christmas, or have you done that this week? You've yeah, actually... Yeah, this week, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, no microphones on at the moment. Chris has actually cut down and made this more manageable, this piece. Got it a bit smaller, and he's making a start of stripping off that quarter panel and then getting all of those internal bits we need. Because once we've got all the bits for that car, it's not bundles of work is it it's there's a bit of filler work in the joints and a lot of welding but it's not i don't really know how to explain well, it because the the bmw is going to paint shop yeah so it'd be nice to have this ready for the paint shop when that one's back comes back and you can swap, swap them, them yeah so that's the plan really so definitely we're not going to time lapse this because you already see us strip the one off of the car and it is quite time consuming and tedious and of course chris has got to be extra careful removing this one because we're gonna be reusing this one so we can't bend it all up and damage it like we did getting that one off so let's let him crack on with that the man has been very very busy indeed just unpicking that quarter in itself is a lot of work of course with all of those spot welds i know it was probably only half the amount on the car because a lot of it was ripped off and we didn't actually have to worry about it. But Chris actually cut this down outside before he bought it in, just because there was more way manageable. more manageable. There was way too much there. I obviously got well over the odds of what we're going to need. But still, he cut it down, bought it in, and you've literally been at that for a good all few day. hours. Yeah, all day, really. But that is the, that's the bit we wanted, wasn't it? Because yeah. that's the bit we can now put back on. I don't know, did you want to offer it up? We can do, uh, but you, you were saying a minute ago, that was a lot of work. It is, isn't it? For a small panel, it's a lot of unpicking. It's because you had to be so careful. Well, we're trying to save the quarter and obviously save. And yeah, yeah, remove so, that. So, And then instead of all different sections like we did on the other car, you want to bring it out in one lump pretty much. Yeah, if like you can, that. yeah. I mean, you can show that in refresh yeah. people with the other one if you want to bring that, that over should then, be a, a, a pretty much carbon copy i mean if we'd have time lapse that would that have oh, been just six minutes of non-stop yeah, time lapse so much, it? you've all seen chris drill that's out and possibly got to come off right that's glued on there and i think it may restrict us from getting the panel in yeah because that one's got to go in behind there and it's got to go in behind that piece so might have, that's only glued, believe it or not. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's just glued there. There's no welds in that. I suppose so, once it's all bolted up and it's on there. Yeah, it's... yeah. So, um, may have to come off, don't know yet. But there's a little bit more seam sealer to, to clean up off of that. What, all of only this? A yeah, there's only a tiny little bit. And then we'll be ready. But we'll probably do that on time lapse, Rob, won't we? Yeah. Fit that in. Definitely. And then, and then once that's in and we just we screw that in place just to hold it in a couple of places then we do a, a test fit of the quarter panel and um get that about right yeah and if we can get that clamped on there we can put the door on and see how it looking lining up type yeah of thing, you know? check all the gaps mm. it really wasn't hurt that well, it's a very localized bit of damage isn't it it's just you awkward know? isn't yeah. it yeah more than anything and also you just said the mess this has oh, made. It's a messy job. It is. I mean, I, I've just come in and swept a little bit up there, but it's literally everywhere, and we've got quite a lot of tools out. It is out, quite so. a cheap way of repairing. I can't remember. What did you give for that with the door? 
was it 100, 150, 150 pounds? pounds? So yeah. that piece, and so we've got a quarter panel, which is 380 quid, I think, yeah. a new one for a, a dealer. One, yeah. That inner panel that we didn't price up, and a door, so it's, it's know, a great a saving. cheap repair, isn't it? But still a bit labour lot. intensive, <laughs> yeah. but it is, a, it is a cheap way of doing it. Labour intensive, and it is, obviously I can't get stuck into that with you. I, no. Number one, I'm not competent enough to do that well, job no. and number two i'll just be getting in your way yeah, it's that's the right. same it's, all the time yeah, isn't it that's right if yeah. i'm if i'm working here on his head like chris comes over and tries working on it he as well no, you just end up it. slowing no, each right. other down that's and right. causing more problems so, so we that could, is scrap now we're finished with that bit that can go out we can yeah. have a good clear up yep and then i guess in the morning we're gonna yeah, crack I think on so. with we'll that. set up try and get that that bit um temporary fitted and uh, go from there Rob. All right mate, let's, uh, let's get cleared up. So quite a lot going on there in that little bit of time lapse I've just watched back from Chris and probably better rather than me trying to repeat it, you to explain what you actually did there. Yeah, um, I cleaned a bit more sealer off Yeah. Um, and then fitted that inner arch, popped in there quite easy really. And then using these self-driller screws, well clamped it with the mole grips first and then put a number of those in, you can see them, yeah. to hold that inner in. And then that, that, that allows us to get the mole grips off out of the way. And then offered up the quarter panel. And then just with a marker pen, I kind of just rough cut, rough marked, where I knew I had enough of the original left. So to get the excess, which was about there, I think, and was up here, to get those out of the way. And people often ask in the, in the comments, how do you cut these? And that's, that's exactly how I do it. I cut the outer first and then overlap and then I can mark where that is and usually allow a saw width or uh, thickness extra and then you don't have a gap when you come to weld it. What do you do, cut this side of your mark line to allow that saw edge or? And the, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Once I've get, what we'll do now is get this clamped in place with the aperture clamps and then we'll hang the door Yeah. and then we can tweak to get the door gap right. Yeah. And then I'll take it off and that'll be clamped in there. And there, yeah, exactly that. I'll put a mark down there and then I'll cut on the waist side of the mark, if right, that makes okay. sense. And that's it. So you you have got there's panel glue on this, there's Yeah, I mean I'll take this back off now, Robin. Let's see. So then that fit lovely. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's come out nice. So on on that there. I'll just mark it with a pen all the way down there. Oops, sorry, mate. All no, the way down fault. there is glued. Right. And then on this bit in here, down through here, there's glue as well. I won't get in your way no. there. But. So, um, and then obviously the arch is glued yeah. on the quarter. So, uh, yeah, we need, to, we need to remove it again now, uh, get some primer on it, Yeah. and then glue those surfaces, it's just like, you can see where this was glued. Yeah. They put a dish, it's welded as well there, but it has, a, has glue to bond it, to give it, uh, especially, especially on that striker. So, yeah, yeah that's Extra it really. And stop it vibrating and making noise, etc. Yeah, and, and round there. Yeah. All right, mate, well, you're gonna get on, get all that off, get it all primed. Next time you guys see it, we're gonna be fitting this back on. That's right. I'm gonna whip over and try Which and get some. should be glue and weld all in one hit. Yeah, so we're gonna, I'm going to go to Worth because we've got one nice and local now. Might do a cut in, Rob. While you're out, if I get that quarter back on there and get the door hung, yeah. might do a little cut in just to show the door gap. Yeah, perfect. And the, 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 the quarter lines up with that. All right, mate, we'll let you get on.
I've just popped out there to Worth to pick up the panel bond and I've come back to a complete car. Well, yeah, it's got to come apart again to put that glue on. But, oh, it, is, it, has, yeah. but it is all cut. In the, I have time lapse it, Rob, of doing that, what we spoke about, marking it. Yeah, I've put that in before this bit. Yeah. What I'm just sorry to interrupt, I'm going to get you to explain every single time. Oh, aperture clamps. Every time we use yeah, them, yeah. people say, where did you get them? Well, and I said, they're from Worth, but you yeah. got them a long, long time yeah, ago, the didn't you? Worth UK. Uh, there's a tin. There's not many of them left now, because uh, over the years, they've broke. I've welded a couple back together, lost a few bits. We really need a new set. But I wonder, it won't even have a part number probably. on it. Probably, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, we're right. not going to be able to read that. But so, very, very old, old. I mean, how old would you say? How long ago? 25 years. 25 I years. So, yeah. everyone kept saying, give us a link for them. And I was like, genuinely, I can't. I will ask Worth next time I'm over there whether they do a. Yeah, new I'm sure they version. probably do. Uh, yeah, the reason we use them, I'm sure it's self explanatory, but if you were to have mould grips on there. You couldn't shut the door. You can't shut your door. No. So, that's why. And now all the proper things for the job, but that door, has that only gone one click? Yeah, yes, yeah. That's lovely, mate. Yeah, the gap's up quite nice, is not it? The gap's lovely. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, st I'm still adamant it wasn't mad bad damage. It Very localised bit of damage. Localised, yeah. and it was just the, the metal work, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Do you want to explore? Now that's got to come all off again. Yeah, I think we covered it briefly. We've got to take it back off. Prime everything up, and you've just, I don't know if you want to show that um, glue you've got, it's on the bench. Oh yes, the bond and seal. Yeah, bond and seal tube. Um, they see it on the time lapse, don't they, where we bond it on. Um, and that's it really, and, but on to the bit you love the most. Yeah, I think probably we'll, we'll film a, f a few welds and then that'll be it, there's no point. Nah. It's very repetitive. So one through there, one through there for the join. Yeah. Obviously one down through here, through the seal and a bit round the back yeah, there. But and of course, the well loads on the inside. Yeah, before that, yeah, so that'll come, come off for the final time now. Oh, and okay. that. But uh, it all gaps up nicely. Lovely. And a very small amount of adjustment on that door, again, probably seen on time lapse, but um, only, only on one hinge, and that's it, so. Really does look good, mate. And that'll probably make quite a nice thumbnail, so I'm gonna stand back and do that in a yeah, minute. Yeah, okay. Right, let's have a cup of coffee and then Sounds like a plan. strip it all down. So working quite, it's actually just getting dusk outside and it's get, got to the end of the day. So we will have to pick up tomorrow, but that is the inner structure complete. Welded and bonded, that's it. All welded, all bonded back in. So ground up. all ground up and it's pretty much ready to go. Chris did spare you quite a lot of time lapse there. I've cut it up, i.e. grinding all these up. Yeah, you do cool. one, you've done them all. Yeah. It is, in the morning, it's gonna be you can show under that arch if you want, Rob. It's just... All bonded back yeah. exactly not where it was. Not seam sealed yet. That'll all be spray sealer after the uh, quarter panel's welded on. But, but we will prime all this before it's covered up. And, of course, t tomorrow, once that's primed, it's going to be prime and glue again. So that's prime what? this, glue this, and then we can move on to the quarter panel. But I'm... I know I'm not doing a lot on this one, but I'm really, really enjoying seeing it. Because it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, that's all they are, isn't it? We've really? never gone into depth where we've taken sections out of one before. We've, we've never had to, have we? I mean, there was a little dent in the wheel well on that two series, but you managed to pop it out. So on this, it was, a, of course, completely different case where that other car caught it there and yeah. dragged this car down the road. So yeah. we'll be back in the morning. It's cracked on this morning before I even got here. As soon as I arrived, 
it was already done. The little bits of welding that he has done, they're primed, everything in there that he's welded up, you can see he's primed. Everything's been primed all the way round, literally. It is all ready to go, so that's all sealed up and primed. In a moment, he will be moving on to putting the glue round everywhere the glue needs to go, fitting that quarter panel on there and getting on with the welding. This one's going to be back on its wheels, panelled up and hopefully ready for the paint shop. Chris did say he showed it on the time lapse, because only because you guys do always ask. So Pro XL, Weld Through Primer, so Zinc Weld Spray. This is what we do always use when replacing the panels on the car. And obviously, got to go over the top of the welds. Also, Chris did say there was no cavity wax inside this one whatsoever. But of course, where we have drilled out the original welds and then re-welded this, it is going to have to have cavity wax. It's just good practice. We always do it anyway. So once this is all, all put back together, you can pop that bung out. You can go through here. You've got all these little clips here that hold the arch liner in. All these can be pulled out of the way and you can cover it in cavity wax. Once he has welded that on, we'll probably go up through here, through here, through here. There's loads of little places to do it. So let's let him crack on, get that glued up, welded on, and hopefully get this one back on its wheels, ready for body work and the body shot. And there we have it. This car is completely repaneled back up and couldn't have possibly have come out any better. All welded, completely welded. Everything's all done. All been ground up, pretty much ready to move on with the bodywork. I mean, through here, this little piece here you would see this piece here is covered by the rubber all of this is covered by the window but you know us we will still do all of the body work in here and get that all perfect right the way through here all done chris has done all the grinding up this morning all of the welding finished off all of the last little tiny bits so it is pretty much now ready to start the process of the body work but Hasn't this come a long way? Let's quickly insert a picture of what it did look like. And just look at it now. Absolutely perfect. We are going to next, I think, move straight on with the bodywork. This one has turned around a lot quicker than I first thought it was going to. I thought, how bad is it in there? We just didn't know. But like I said before... It all come apart like a jigsaw and it all went back together very, very nicely. It doesn't actually matter to me how many times I see Chris do jobs like this, how many different pieces of damage he repairs on different vehicles. You're always amazed at the end of it when you look at it like that. And after that's back together, you will never, ever know that that car's had a quarter panel, a door and a bit of inner quarter panel on it. And that is kind of the idea you want these repaired properly. You want them to look absolutely perfect. And that car is going to look perfect. Guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. As usual, if you did enjoy it, please do hit that thumbs up. Really does mean a lot to us. Helps the channel out. And of course, sharing it on all your social networking sites also helps us out. If you don't follow us already on Instagram, it's Salvage Rebuilds. Chris has got his own personal little one on there where he does museums, car shows, out for dinner etc and that salvage rebuilds chris don't forget please like subscribe and share and we'll look forward to seeing you all very very soon in the next one